Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Zonar DG and really the relevance of this product to me is mostly to do with my obsession about headphone amp sound cards. So this is one of the better values you can get for a headphone amp sound card because it's still um, a mid-range sound card so it's not super low end by any stretch of the imagination but it's not like uber expensive either and there might have been something supposed to be in there. Oh cool it comes with a low profile bracket although I can't even begin to imagine what that would be useful for. Um, I mean what are you installing this in? That you need like an amped headphone out because I was thinking media PC but then I was like well when would you ever plug headphones into a media PC? I don't know. Either way I love it because it has a headphone amp. Okay, it's got Dolby Headphone for a realistic 5.1 surround, so that's virtual surround. It's also got GX 2.5, which... GX 2.5 allows up to 128 simultaneous effects for a realistic 3D experience. And if you don't have it, then you game with 3D video, but only lame, bulky audio. <laughs> Alright, moving right along. What else we got? Jack sensing front panels, that's handy, so even if you accidentally plug them into the wrong thing in the dark, then you know, um, that won't cause a problem. Although I don't recommend usually plugging things into the wrong thing in the dark, because that can cause problems. We've also got output signal to noise ratio of 105 decibels for 5.1 channel. Okay, input signal, okay. So there's a bunch of specs and whatnot. It's a PCI sound card, uses a C Media chipset. Okay, cool, let's have a look at the sound card itself. So it comes with drivers, ignore those, download the latest. It comes with two quick start guides. Amazing. Uh, why? English? Not Eng English. Okay, hold on. This, mu this must be a packaging error. There's no way. Oh no, look at this. They're both... <laughs> no way. They're both English, but they both have a bunch of other different languages. <laughs> um... I guess this was better than doing one thick book, somehow. Uh, okay. Low profile bracket, extra screws, and let's have a look at the sound card itself. So you find the usual assortment of color-coded jacks that are compatible with 5.1 out, as well as a microphone in. You've also got an optical audio out, so you can use that if you're outputting to digital uh, receiver or digital speakers or whatever the case may be. There's your C Media chipset right there. There's your PCI interface, there's your front panel audio as well as your auxiliary in and spit it out. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's straightforward. The whole point is it's good value, it's got an apt headphone output, and that's pretty much all I need to know about it to know that you should probably get one if you don't have a sound card at all and you don't want to get something really expensive. Thank you for watching Linus Tech Tips. And don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.